Here we have another quadratic expression, 2x squared plus 10x plus 12. So we want to factorize this expression. We could start by factorizing a 2 out of the whole thing and then solve it, or factorizing in the normal way that we usually do. Uh, or we want to, if we want to see what to do with this number in front, this a value not being 1, then we can try and solve it the, the straightforward way from here. So the straightforward way would be, again, we still have two quantities multiplied together. Instead of just x plus and minus something, we're going to have to have some number here to get this 2. The only factors of 2, of course, are 2 and 1. So one of them is going to be 2 times x, and one will just be 1 times x. Now, are we going to have pluses or minuses in here? We have both positive here, so there's no room for any negatives. So we're going to have plus in both of these cases. So right away, we're almost done. We just need these two numbers here. So in actuality, it's not too difficult to get the last step. We still need to factorize this 12. We just have to be careful about what's going to happen with this 2 out front. So let's look at our 12. Let's factorize that. 12 times 1, as always. Let's see, we also have 4 times 3 and 6 and 2. So those are our factors of 12. To figure out which one goes in here, you can do two different methods. You can do the um, straightforward guess and check, or you can see which factors uh, multiply out with this 2 in different combinations of each of the factors and see what adds up to get 10. So again, we're trying to get this cross term to work right. So to me, when there's only three factors like this, the fastest way to go about it is to just try and guess and check. So if we see that we want to multiply something by 2, and again, we're always adding in this. There's no negative, so it's pretty straightforward. We can see that if we multiply by 2 one of these factors, uh, what will work for us? Well, we can multiply this by 2, but we'd have to subtract. Not going to work. We can multiply this by 2. Uh, 6 plus 4, that's not going to work. We can multiply this by 2, so that gives us 6 plus 4. But 6 plus 4 is 10 right away. There's no reason to go any further or make it more difficult. Try that. If we plug in a 6 here and a 2 here, then it's going to work. Why the 6 here and the 2 here? Because to add up to 10, I said that I wanted to have the 2 times the 2 to get the 4. So this will give us 2 times 2 is 4, and 6 to give us 10. So let's just multiply that and just double check. So again, I say the answer is done right here. Let's expand this and check. 2x times x is 2x squared. That's great. 6 times 2 is 12, so plus 12. That's great. Then we have 6 times x is plus 6x. 2x times 2 is plus 4x. So that gives us 6 plus 4. There it is right away.